we are on our way to check out a community yard sale. It's Saturday morning here in Odessa, and uh, we are on our way to our first stop. And, uh, we'll see what we get, and we'll show you later. Getting windy. Getting pretty windy out here. I know. We're kind of hoping everything's going to blow away. Yeah. yeah there's not much here for me. Just all these clothes. And what's that? So we just left Chatham Lakes little community yard sale. Not much going on there, probably two or three sales, two actually. So um, didn't find much there. So now we're gonna head over to Dunedin to a neighborhood called Crystal Beach. Uh, usually we find some good stuff. We've had some good scores over there. There's usually probably 15 to 20 houses doing something. So uh, we'll show you that here in a little bit. I want all your toys. Can I have them all? He's trying to earn money. I told him that he, wants, that he wants a new video game. I'm like, you got to earn it, kid. Yeah. Um, yep. And then, you got to buy and sell and get to work. You want to get new stuff. The Thomas the Train, I want to do as a set, everything in the box, all together for 50 Right. Oh, oh, Aaron went inside. Um, I have to, I'm sorry, my girlfriend's selling it inside. She's going to the bathroom. I will have to ask her. I'm sure it's just a couple of bucks. They're all real. They just need a good deep cleaning. <laughs> that a change for like oh, that. What are you asking for the boat here? Yeah. 50 cents? A dollar? Sure. Cents? Yeah, sure. Let me find some other stuff. Let me see what else I can find. I like your boat. I would say probably like a Ross. She probably got it. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? Good, good. It's not so hot today, so it's pretty nice. Yeah. Thankfully the rain steered off. Yeah, yeah. I'll come to this. All right, come on. You and I, let's play. Um, will you ask the area how much you want to do first? Can you open that? Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. That one is a straightener and curler in one. How do you open? How does it open? Is it ceramic? Yeah, I would. Mom, how do you do your curler? How do you like open it to get the curls in? Three, three two, and three. So it's eight, and then eight. the boat. Golf club. <laughs> He thought those were golf clubs. Well, <laughs> no, the golf clubs are over here. Something to do with golf clubs. <laughs> <coughs> That's golf clubs, aliens. What do we got here? Mm -hmm. 
off the green. Well, that's a nice setup. <laughs> it works. Very nice. Toy soldiers are coming. Boxes. That's a cool little thing. It's really nice. It's pretty. Alright, you get it? What do we got here? Phones and cameras. They're all empty? You don't have any cameras? What's this? Phones? Yep. That's a bunch of phones. <laughs> yeah. Some candles. Dave across the street has some old cameras. Oh, does he? Okay, great. Thank you. Well, adventuring over there. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. You're just so funny. You don't pay for that. <laughs> Dearly. <coughs> nice Thanks, Thanks, man. Good luck. Ooh, it has. How you doing this morning? Good, good. Kind of water. Hmm. I like this, that's cool. Who's had a place to put that? What I miss over here? We have a duo, sir. Christmas prints. That's kind of neat. These would be cool for under the shelves. Mm -hmm. I might have to get them later. Just an FYI, when you're out there treasure hunting, if and you see house supplies, okay. see what they have. So if you need something, you're gonna pay a lot cheaper than you would at the retail market. So see what they have and save some money. You want this? No, I was asking of you for the woods and stuff, you know, for cleaning, you know, they're good to have. Okay, like tongue oil finish, and rub permanent finish for woods, mm -hmm. natural beauty. You know, that's good for bringing out the wood. It's a full thing for a buck fifty. Maybe worth having. Let's see what else they got. Some purses here. Clothes are a dollar. Stripper. Yeah, for a buck, yep. Yeah. Like that. Let's see. 
Furniture polish. See, that's good. Orange. Ant killer. Come back. Let's check out the good stuff first. But, do you really want these? I have stain at home, and that's what this is. Well, that's the stripper, but this is what this is. This is a natural stain. It's a tongue oil finish. I hand rub it, a little gloss. You know. Huh? You want these too? Just let them sit here. Let's look around. They'll be fine here. Can we bring our orange bags in? Okay. Good idea. We did bring them. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what do we have here? Fifteen dollar Sony system. It's got the bar. I'm right here. Okay, I gotta walk on this cement, honey. I'll walk. Yeah. Let me just oh. walk. You don't mind if I talk? No, I just have a bad leg. getting mad. <laughs> it's up pretty well. Good for the garage. Someone is doing a lot of desk work. Not everything there. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You all have a great day. Because I need somebody around. Thank you. What do you want for all of them? All of these here. And then I got all these paint. How about four dollars for mom? Sounds good. Okay. And I'm going to. Hold on. Let's make one transaction real quick. I'm going to take the Sony speakers down there in the end for 15 Okay. So, we're at 19 All right. That's okay, 19 What about this stuff that's included, Michael? No, no, no. We're going to add more stuff to that. That's okay. that's the next step. So, there we go. We're going to keep looking. Yeah. They're, not, they're at the very end in the box, the black ones. Make it harder. Make it harder, yeah. Actually, I'm going to go put them in the car. Yes. Um, the
Be it also soon. It's got ceramic plates. These are pretty popular. I'll take that. I did not. Yes, GE. Yeah, I'm not gonna get much for them. They're old. They're cool, but they're not really collectible. That, that's the thing that Brie has? You no, know, you spray on the makeup. Oh, I thought it was the thing that Brie had, the atomizer or something. There are some candles. We have concluded our day. Now we are headed home. We are cutting through Tarpon Springs at the moment. This is a cool little sponge docks town over here near Clearwater. If you've never been here, it would be a cool place to visit. Lots of cool shops, lots of cool dining experiences. Cool place to spend the day. Now, whatever you're looking for, you want to go to the bar, you want to go to the antique shop, you want to go to the scuba house, acupuncture, whatever it is you're looking for, it's pretty much down here. Very cool area. So we're back at the house now from our trip today, uh, yard sailing. Um, we decided to go to holiday again today. Normally I go through Craigslist and see what we have around us and I normally put a game plan for some condensed addresses and normally we target those first and go hit those. So we had some good stops today. We found some really good old stuff along with some stuff that we needed to have for the house which you could always find cheaper at a yard sale. So why go to a you know retail market when you can get what you need at a yard sale? So yeah. We just got back. I'm going to unload the truck and I'll show you what we got here in a little bit. So here we are back inside after today's sale. Uh, just kind of want to do a quick rundown with you guys and show you what we got, uh, what we paid for it and what we might be able to get for it. And uh, I'm not sure what our cost of goods today are and uh, you know what the estimated value. But at the end of the video, I'll leave that for you and show you that. Um, so here we got a little cool box my wife got for two bucks it says three but they took it for two cool paint job on it you know it's a little catch-all box and over here a couple of toddler boats really cool sequest boat with a crane on it and it's got movable parts and ramps and stuff and this one up here is an animal planet it's got wheels on the bottom so it rolls around I always like to get little toddler toys that are still good to go and, and clean, but not too small of parts. 
You know, you get some of these together and put a bundle together and you can make 40, 50 bucks if you put a cool bundle together. So not a bad buy there. I paid a dollar each for those. And over here we have, that's a Nikkor, 35 millimeter lens. Uh, I believe it's a 50 to 200 millimeter. That one goes for 60 retail. I paid 10 bucks for that one. I paid 10 bucks for this one. This is another Albinar. This goes for about 60 bucks. It's another 200 millimeter. So that's a good find there. Uh, Le Cavalier commemorative locker. I'm a hockey fan. I'm a Lightning fan. I'm a Le Cavalier fan. So I picked that up. I might keep that. And then we found these lava lamps. She had the blue one for five and the other one here, which is actually a glitter one for two dollars because it doesn't have the cord with it. But I have an adapter cord, so I'll plug that right in and get them going. So we got both of them for five bucks. So not a bad deal. And what else we got over here? A Dooney's Dooney and Burke purse my wife got her first Dooney. We've been looking for those. She's been looking for them, and we came across that today, so that's pretty cool. She said they're pretty expensive. I know nothing about them, but uh, she got that for 3 bucks. And then I saw this little bottle, a whiskey bottle, Angel's Envy, Kentucky Bourbon. It's pretty cool. I like it. I don't know if I'll sell it or just keep it because I like looking at it. It's got angel wings on the back. I don't know if you can see those. It's hard to see them. And then over here, we got some ink cartridges for GPC for a printer. It's a whole brand new package. This runs for about 35 bucks. I paid five bucks for it. So I think we'll make a little money there. Here's a big score today. These are a couple of audio receivers. I don't know if you can see the name there. They're Denon's. Now, I had no idea about these until we started watching Homeschool Picker. Kayla, shout out to you. Thank you for showing showing us these because uh, these are some big bolos. This one here is retailing for $200. This one's in very nice shape. It's a 7.1 channel. Really nice. And this is another Denon, another receiver, precision receiver. It also retails for about $170 to $200. So... Yeah, I had no idea about these. I thought it was just some cheap off-brand until I was watching Kayla and she mentioned, hey, these are really good. Check them out. There's money to be made here. I picked both of these up for 40 bucks, 20 bucks each. And then over here, we have a nice lampshade my wife got. I think she paid, what'd you pay for it, Gail? The lampshade? 10 bucks? Yeah. It's a nice stained glass lead, old lampshade. Black and white, really good shape. And we have old Grave Digger, Grave Digger, RC car, monster truck, monster jam. It's an RC, it's rechargeable, it's got the USB adapter. They're going for about, I don't know, 15 bucks. But I looked them up and if I split it apart and I sold just the body, I could get 30 for the body, I can get 30 for the chassis, and I can get about 30 for the tires. So if I separate it, I can make close to 60 bucks so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there we'll see uh, we'll see what happens that's right here we got a train set I believe it's uh, some Express night Express I can't remember last Christmas I picked one of these up for two dollars and I sold it for thirty dollars it's brand new in the package so when I saw this today for five bucks I had to get it so um, I know I'll make some money uh, either for a kid's birthday or Christmas, that'll go pretty fast. Here we got a Posh airbrush kit. It doesn't have the box, but everything is there. The nozzle, the gun, I got a couple of other bottles for paint. I have this exact model. It's a great little airbrush kit. Picked it up for three bucks. You know, it's worth 30 bucks. So I might keep it and add it to mine. Or I might send it off. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Over here, powertrains. This is a 2012 version. It's all on the box. 35 feet of track. Everything's there. It's brand new. 
Very cool old kit. Cars in there. Full train set. All the track is in there. All the uh, all the pieces are in there. It's got an offloader. We can put the cars in there and put them on the trains. Very cool set. Pick this up for ten bucks. I see on eBay going for sixty to eighty. So we'll see what happens. Down here, we have a Sony home system. It's got a subwoofer on all the speakers. Picked it up for 15 bucks. Online, it's going for 85 to 120. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna ask for it. We'll see, I'll clean it up and we'll go from there. My wife picked up this little purse, little flower print. I think she's gonna keep it for herself. Or uh, maybe sell it. It's not branded, so. Not sure what we're gonna do there. Now I got this cool old knife. I've never seen this before, but look at this. Pretty neat. It's an old rusty blade. But somebody made it. It's really heavy. Look at the detail. It's got the glass eyes. I don't think I'm going to sell this. I'm probably going to hang this in the barn or in my in my shop because it's just too cool. I think I'm going to hold on to that. And over here, we got a hanging lamp. You know, you just screw it to your wall. Folds out, has the extending arm. Put a bulb in it. A little lampshade and you're good to go. I, I kind of like it. I might hang it out in my stall in the workshop. My wife picked up a little light right there for two bucks. Fifty cents. Excuse me, and uh, haven't looked that up yet, but it's worth a shot. Sometimes you got to take a gamble. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This is, I think, is a great score here. I wanted this when I was a kid. KC 135 Strato Taker. It's all in the box. It has all the decals with it. When I was a kid, my brother and I used to build these all the time. We had models hanging all over the bedroom. So, I'm thinking I might keep this one and do it myself and hang it in one of the stalls in my stall where I have my other planes. Because it's just too cool. It's an old, it's an old collector. This is, this is a good one. I'm not letting that one go. So, down here, another cool collection. Guitar magazine, old collection. All mint, still in the package of some of them. One of my favorite bands right there. But yeah, if you're a guitarist, you love these guys. This is all back in my day, back in 87, back in the 80s and the 90s. A lot of good stuff back then. All in the packages. I got the whole lot for 10 bucks, and for each of these, I could probably get seven to ten dollars. So selling just one. I'm making my money back there. So not a not a bad deal there. A lot of good stuff. Really good day today.